everybody, welcome back, Tommy Candu here. Uh, we're gonna be doing a different, a bit of a different thing today. We're gonna be doing a gear video uh, requested by Saffron Pepper. Um, so we're gonna start out, this is gonna be a maze plus gear. So we're gonna go over every dungeon uh, all the way up. And this set is actually very close to what I would use let me just modify it a little bit. I would actually put in another there, but the basics you want to have are you want to focus on your offensive stones first, everybody. And that's what's going to allow you to do for do better as you go. So start with uh, two green, two blue, or maybe three green, two blue, and a purple. Uh some variation thereof, but once you get towards uh, doing better at it in your offense, um, if you don't have a full mythic set, which I'm going to assume you don't, once your your green stones are getting stronger and your blue strong stones are getting a higher level also, I would, without having a mythic set, definitely drop in a white stone, do one white, one purple, and uh, two blue, two green. Um, this is if I were if I'm trying to speed run it, I would run just like this with a mythic set. It's exactly what I would run. Um, you guys aren't going to have the luxury of having all these level six blue stones, so you know go three, three or four green, um, you know two purple, and do, do like five green. Two purple, uh, two yellow, that'll be sufficient. Um, and, and that'll also start setting you up for Chaos Dungeon and other things down the road. And as you, as you go, you know, you can always level up the rest of your stones. But what we're going to do now is let's get to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to uh, wave 15 of a solo maze run. I'm going to get to maze 15. And I'm going to start the video there so you all can see this in action. All right. And uh, here we are on 15. <clears throat> so uh, what we're going to... I'm just going to demonstrate it. It's nothing special. And I'm soloing, so not going to be the fastest game. But... <clears throat> and I know you all aren't going to have... <clears throat> uh, torment for 15. I would recommend Necro or Ripper, someone like that, especially if you're in a solo situation. Just makes your life nice and easy. And as always, the later, the further you get in the game, everybody, kiting is real. You're going to need to learn to do it, so why not learn here in Maze like I did? Um, so practice your skills. Remember, attack speed is valuable. All right, I'm gonna try and do this without dying, but we will see. I don't usually die, but anything's possible. That, and you gotta think, I'm running a lot of damage reduction, so. As you can see, as the poison stacks build, things begin to look a lot better. And there we have it. All right. I'm probably uh, just going to do the video through 20. Um, if you have Void Knight, he's a good option for 16. I've always liked him. He's not ideal, but... I just want to make sure you all at least see 19, because if you can beat 19, 20 should be a no problem. Wave. Um, so, you know, don't worry about getting uh, to level 20 every time. That's a common mistake people make. Um, 15 should be sufficient for any wave. Um, if you aren't uh, geared all the way, you're gonna have that white stone in. It's not gonna be as good as the mythic set with this, but you're, you're also gonna have a partner, so it's very doable. As you can see, I'm only getting to level nine. Hey, I got my first weakness. So that's just some things you wanna think about. The longer you have left on the on the timer, the more that poison damage is going to really matter. You know, that's just going up and up and up. Um, 
Let's see, let's pick someone fun. Heck, I haven't tried Time Traveler, so let's let's test him out. This will be my first time playing Time Traveler on Maze. Let's go. Hopefully I didn't mess this whole video up. If I did, guys, I'll start it over. I don't think it'll be an issue, but... And, um, after this one, we're going to go over the maze, uh, the Abyssal Maze gear sets. And, um, I had, I, I was hoping to have someone help with this one, but no one was available. And I was just anxious to get into making the video. So, after this wave, we will have, um, we're going to be going over the Abyssal gear set. And, uh, the gear sets. What you need, what you don't need, and... All that fun stuff so make sure you stay tuned for that I'm gonna speed this up and I'm gonna go ahead and jump to 19 and then uh, we'll go from 19 straight to chaos so give me just one second okay so as promised 19 <clears throat> if you're not fortunate enough to have abyss orb mad doc is the way to go here um, Mad Doc and Phantom is a combo we used to like back in the day. Um, Cause you can get extreme ghost time and uh, there's a little trick you can do running around the wall. Um, but Abyss Orb is definitely my go-to for this. So I'm gonna show you what I do. But this is uh, just to give you some ideas. Most of you probably don't have Abyss Orb yet, but remember this is a no healing wave. So get you some extra distance. Whether it's Mad Doc or Abyss Orb, attack when and where you can, get your attack speed up, do all the proper steps. And if you do have Abyss Orb, of course you want Terror, Terror, Terror. Um, let's just find the boss. And you notice how I'm not staying still too much, that's because you want to fight on your terms on no healing waves. So, yeah, and those Reapers, they are, they are nowhere near the terms that I agreed to fight on. You're not going to be able to heal. You don't want an archer shooting you in the back. All right, get your terror going. Bada bing. Back up. All right. We're about to have this one in the bag. Thanks for watching so far. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, man down. Okay. Still got it. Even with the death. I'm going to go ahead and let's jump into Abyssal Maze Gear. Let's go. All right, everybody. We got that all taken care of. And that was the end of that run. Brutally long, but I did a bunch of silly things in there just to have fun. Haven't played Maze in a while. Have fun with the game, guys. And if not, you'll get burnt out like I have. Um, but let's go ahead and get into gear now. And this was my okay yes this is this set here so the idea thing which you're not going to have this at the start but ideally you want to get to where you're at 81 90 percent uh damage reduction which that's all level six stones so we're going to assume that y'all got some if not use hp and xp as much as you can one or two movement speed but have all the HP and damage reduction and um, more XP that you can. And this is going to be your first setup. I'm going to be running this on the first wave here, just so you all can see how it's done. Andrew the animal uh, is going to be actually, he's actually going to be helping me with this. So we're going poison on the first one. And... Uh, we're going to teach you all about damage re reflect there. Sorry about the hiccup. Um,
if he's going to die, I can keep those stacks on the boss. Because you don't want to lose stacks. So you can see, I mean, he didn't even get to reflect too much because I went with way too much tentacle time. Don't do that to your reflectors, people. It's torture, trust me. All right, we actually got some good hunter selections here. Let's talk about set number two. I recommend everybody get a fire heal set, but since this is a no healing wave here, see the boss uh, says you have five five percent, but says you have five percent everywhere. I don't see the five percent, so I always go this set. Um, I'm gonna let him choose someone that can stack fire really well. And I'm going to go with Mummy because the Mummy Aura at level 10, even if you don't get any more Sorrow, is just really nice. You can solo if you have a really good fire set. Um, don't forget to get yourself to level 10. Don't Like Turtle, I go straight for boss. But with Mummy, I'll kill the stuff on the boss. But with Mummy, I want to get that, I want to get that level 10 or at least close to it. Um, and I'm getting a lot of Sorrows here, so that's good. And he's already stacking the boss, so once I hit level 10, it should be over. Alright, I'm level 10. Alright, appreciate you. Don't forget to kite. There you go. Okay. Um, this one here, as you'll notice, that the boss is not immune to poison or anything. Uh, but the mobs are immune to burn effect here so last time last wave they were immune to poison so you're gonna have to deal with farming if you don't have a fire set instead of the um, extra tentacle you might want to put a fire stone in just to help with farming um, but I think that covers AM pretty well and let's go on and we'll talk about chaos um, just read these descriptions on everything as you go if you haven't already and you aren't um, prepared for it Read the descriptions and make yourself better prepared and ask questions below. I'll gladly make a video answering them. I'm, this video is actually requested by Saffron, as I said. So let's uh, not make this a hugely long video and I will uh, get with you all in just one second. Yeah, apology for the kids in the background. It happens always. Family first, everybody. But um, I was wanting to make sure I clarified that a little bit better. So you can see here the mobs are immune to poison again so it alternates um on two three and four um the immunities there just pay attention to that sort of stuff and um but definitely um definitely think about that all right let's let's get into chaos now and here we are again this is the very basic set that you want um i actually prefer either more xp or more uh hp in my set so this is what i run for solo primarily but you can also use this for co-op chaos dungeon um this is your basic set this is going to get you through the solo chaos and it's going to be, um, I've actually ran it with people, I can run it all the way through in uh, uh, the co-op chaos dungeon. However, it does have a lower win percentage than if you have some of these other sets. So let's look at them. This is what I call the basic set, uh, your cookie cutter solo co-op set. And you will use it more often than, than any other set until you get a good partner and stuff. And then this is going to be the set for your stacker, say you're the stacker, like um, uh, Ancient One's a good one, and other hunters, but your multi-shot guys. The next one's gonna be your Azure set. I have two Azure sets. Um, if I'm running Samurai, I'm definitely running this one. If I'm running Trickster, more often than not, I'm running this one, but that's just a, a preference thing. Um, so, Try them both out. You'll have the power stones. You can just move the gear around. Try and figure out which one you like better. Then down below, I have my absolutely least used, which is the fire healing and uh, the full fire sets. But the one thing that I don't have set up right now because I'm just making this video for you guys is 
the no healing waves on chaos you'll definitely want these same sets uh in the no healing variant and maybe i'll make a video on that in the future but um we've already covered chaos quite a bit but i'll do a couple waves for you give me just one second to get set up okay so didn't want to start this on the boring one and two that most of you can clear um one second give me a second let me finish okay so i did choose to use this set here this is the full damage set unfortunately the partner i have is does not have the full damage uh full stacking set so we're going to see if we can make do with it this could be a glorious end of the video or a glorious victory but we're gonna we're gonna finish the run out for you hopefully let's see what we can get Oh, and never start with a Reaper. Rookie mistakes being made. I know they say never say never, but look at how brutal this is. Now I'm having to constantly be dodging. Oh, it's three. There's healing here. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. All right, he's getting me some serious levels. I need to focus on my damage. Get started here. Sorry, guys, forgot it was a healing wave. Plan was to start on five, but when we had bad picks, I wanted to show you that it's possible, even with not absolutely the right gear and bad sets. All right, got, got a couple of the perms we wanted to see on me. Got all my improves. Now we need more summons. Bring us the more summons. And there they are. Alright, he's going to start stacking the boss. I'm going to have to get my own summons. Alright. I might have been better off with the other set, but I just wanted to flex all the sets for you. That's the point of this video. So. He's getting the stacks up there nicely. Even though he doesn't have a stacking set. And as you can see, my horde of minions are doing horde of minion things. Alright, I'm just going to let him get a little bit more. And I'm going to come in. And he's going to dip out for a minute. Let my minions get on. And Tiki's not particularly one that's good at bringing you more mobs because he will typically kill them before they get to you. But notice I'm trying to attack the mobs and letting my minions do their work. You want to let your minions do their thing. You get more minions. So... You could probably use some more stacks, Tiki. I'll get some more mobs. We need more stacks, it looks like. Did not want this to end in glorious defeat. Oh, and this is Maze. I always got to remember. Yeah, let's just, let's just sit on him for a minute, and I'll get more when I can. You gotta always factor in that on Maze that the boss heals himself. Looks like this will be a glorious defeat. And the ball's healing there, seals the deal, nail in the coffin. Well, they all can't be winners. And I do one takes, so when I fail, guys, you get to see it. But let's uh, wrap up the information real quick. All right, well, 
thanks for sticking in this long. I wanted to show you all the gear set that I failed with. Um, the failure was probably on our part. We had poor hunter selection and so forth. But the main idea of this video is to show you the gear sets, let you all see them in action. It's not going to be perfect, and um, you all make the decision. I appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe, and as always, we'll catch you in the next one. I'll catch you on the next one. We will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Tommy Candu out.